Memorizing Juz Amma Hints and Tips. Okay, so initially, when you start off with your memorization, um, you've got to be very realistic and you're probably going to be able to learn maybe two to five lines, and this depends on each individual's capacity. Now, when you start learning, the main thing is not to try and learn too much. Okay, if you try to learn lots of lines, you just keep doing this again and again, day after day, and you're not going to memorize anything properly. So start with something that's man manageable, maybe two, three lines, depends again how much you can do, but make sure you learn, let's say, two lines really well from memory. Check the, your recitation against the pre-recorded samples to make sure you're not memorizing incorrectly. And when you memorize, do it from a mushaf that you're going to keep for life. Because when you memorize, you also memorize visually. If you swap your mushafs, go from one to another and try and memorize, you will disrupt your memorization and it will just set you back. Um, so again, we recommend using a beautifully printed Uthmani script with proper Tajweed coloring, which your teacher will um, point you where to buy one and it will help you in your memorization and it will help you in making sure that your uh, Tajweed rules are um, used properly. Now the next bit to maintain these few lines you must recite them from memory every day and if it's only a few lines then you can do it maybe twice a day and break up your sessions you could do let's say half an hour when you come home from work and half an hour before you go to bed twice a day is much better than once a day also, after you've practiced from memory, reread it from your mushaf because you'll check you haven't introduced any mistakes, plus you get to visually see it again and put it back into your memory visually. And essentially what you do is you just do a few lines one day, bring them from memory the next day, plus add a few more lines. And you just keep doing this until you reach maybe after a few days where you think, okay, that's enough. Um, if I add a few more lines I'm going to get more confused so you just stick to those let's say if you've done 10 lines just stick to 10 lines do that for a few days until they're very strong in your memory and then try to move on the main thing is to bring it from memory every day okay now once you've learned an entire surah the main thing is to bring it from memory or recite it from memory every single day if you leave a week two weeks, a month is a very very long time, you will guaranteed you will forget it and you have to go through the whole learning process again. Now as you recite these surahs every day you'll be learning new lines every day. Okay. And what's happening here is the surah is being put into your short term memory and the reason it's called short term is because if you don't practice and bring it back from memory again and again it will just leave your memory. Okay. And this is a great loss after all the time and effort you put in um, you, you're going to lose um, this surah. The other thing you can do if, you, if you're finding it hard to recite a lot is to um, listen to the pre-recorded surahs or a, um, a well-known kari etc and just listen to it every day and that will help to keep it in your memory from listening. Okay now after you've learned your surahs and we're talking about maybe having learned the entire juz is try to recite some of the surahs in your prayers okay however a word of warning here one of the things you learn um, in fiqh is that the prayer is um, a state of reverence and you're remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you're not supposed to practice your tajweed within the prayer if you have learned a surah properly with tajweed and you know the surah properly by memory then you can recite obviously with good tajweed but it's not a practice lesson the prayer is separate it's not to be used to practice your tajweed all right now once you know the entire juz um, you cannot recite it every day especially if you're doing it with proper tajweed and we recommend whenever you recite your surah always recite it to the absolute best pronunciation that you can slowly don't start speeding up and think I want to just recite the entire juz every day because your um, Tajweed skills um, will be lost and the quality and the precision in your recitation will be lost. So it will you will not be able to recite the whole juz every day if you recite with proper Tajweed 
um, very carefully. So what we recommend is break it down. Maybe you could do one third of the jewels every day. Okay, and again do the entire thing from memory and every now and then look at your mushaf again and read through it to check you haven't introduced any mistakes. So what will happen is after a year or so the surahs will move from your short term memory into your long term memory and then you're in less danger of losing them and when you hear someone else recite them um, it will automatically come back to you. However, this is a trust from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's an immense gift even if it's one juz it's an immense gift to have those surahs in your memory and to have learnt it with um, a good level of tajweed which in our time um, only a small proportion of people actually get to learn it with proper tajweed anyway um, a word of warning um, also is when you practice um, be very careful with your voice box um, and I've seen um, this has happened to people where they try to recite too much every day and you put too much strain on your voice box and you can permanently damage your voice box um, and it's a very difficult problem and a long-term problem and once you've damaged your voice box you may find it hard to recite properly again so as soon as you feel that your voice is getting tired you'll notice your voice gets a bit weaker stop and give your voice a proper rest if you start to lose your voice completely rest for let's say an entire week but don't risk losing your voice you can build up um, um, sort of bumps and lumps in your vocal cords which cause um, a distortion in your voice um, and this is done from overstraining your voice every day so do maybe half an hour have a break do another half an hour um, be very careful with this now teaching if you're um, good enough to get to a level where your teacher allows you to teach then y you must teach um, it's it's a trust um, it's a it's a very um, honorable thing to do and the best thing is that if you do it with the right intention is every single letter that you teach somebody else to read becomes your reward so if you teach somebody else how to recite a surah and they recite it for the rest of their life you get the same reward and if they teach it to other people you get that reward and it goes on and on until the day of judgment so learning and teaching the Quran even if it's only a small part of the Quran is one of the greatest ways to earn blessings um, so keep this in mind and this should motivate you to struggle in your learning and even if you've uh, managed to uh, teach and you are teaching always cross check your recitation with your teachers with your mushaf with other reciters uh, recitations because you can always introduce mistakes and even the scholars who um, teach at a very high level they are constantly going back to their own teachers and the main thing here is once you've mastered your recitation you must keep practicing and practicing it is impossible to maintain your level of recitation without constant practice and that's a brief um, sort of hint and tips about memorizing the Quran